Hi everyone, I'm Tanya Jain, radiology resident from RML Hospital, Delhi. Hey guys, I'm Akarsh Jain, currently unemployed. <laughs> Hopefully that changes soon. So uh, we thought we'll make a video on targeting anatomy for your competitive exams. So a disclaimer, this is not for the people who are appearing for NEET PG this year because it's a lot of time, so whatever strategy you have going on, just stick with that, have faith and you'll do great. So uh, anatomy in general, it's a lot weak, hota hai, so we neglect it completely. But there is not much correlation in how you were in prof year and now that you can't do well. So you just target the limited course. Because it's limited, hai, you can do it well and you will definitely get an edge above everyone. Right, so anatomy lands you like 10 to 12 questions mm -hmm. per exam directly and indirectly you get a lot of questions in radio anatomy mm -hmm. and uh, it helps a lot in, uh, in ortho as well and a, a few questions from surgery. So I think like you should target anatomy heavily using your notes and your TND and I think Ashwini sir is probably the best for anatomy. Mm -hmm. for sure. From DBMs, yeah. yeah. And uh, then so targeting uh, what all units specifically. So subse high yield is your neuroanatomy and head and, uh, head and neck section. And basically you have to do the dissection specimens and do the radiology uh, same levels. So aap saath mein karoge, so there will be good correlation and dono se you can target those questions. So most important unme hota like your basal ganglia nuclei, red nuclear, substantia nigra, you know your ventricle anatomy. So ye basics hai and they keep on asking them in different different ways. Secondly, your supply, brain supply. Arterial more than venous supply is very, very important. Again, clinically relevant, mein aapke clinical syndromes are neurological syndromes and cranial nerves. Cranial nerves, especially orbit, because they keep on asking the orbital muscles also in the MRI sections. So, wo and your 3, 4, 6, ho gai, then your trigeminal and facial nerve. So these are the most important ones so you have to have to target. And now jo INICT ke liye bahut bahut popular ho gaya is the PNS anatomy. So usme you don't need to do the dissection specimens that much, just radio anatomy, SAG as well as core sections. So wo kuch na kuch usme pooch lete hai. Sometimes they ask variants, you know, uh, different ethmoidal cells, vagera. So all of this is heavily being tested now. Then again, your lymph node stations. So, sari head and neck ki cancer staging is based on the same lymph node stations. You do it once well and you will get them, you know, properly. Then lastly is your thyroid anatomy. So, surgically, again, very, very relevant. Kabhi -kabhi directly you can solve surgery questions if your anatomy is good. Second unit let's cover is limbs in general. So, upper limb is far more important than lower limb in any exam. Uh, and in upper limb, like they mostly uh, test the dissection specimens, especially of the palm. Uh, that's very very important and the basic nerve supply because like it's traveling from the axilla so like that becomes important uh, according to ortho also it becomes very very important they've now started to test these things in lower limb as well so especially the soul anatomy is important and the basic nerve supply of the soul and the muscles there is very very important then another thing which is very very important is basically the gross muscle attachments and the actions for example things like um attachment at greater tubercle and lesser tubercle and uh, in the lower limb what's important is attachments at greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter and the a very basic orientation of what their action is coming on to abdomen so aapke basic clinical orientation achhi like suppose they asked umbilicus ka level no now people mark t10 because dermatom ho hai but that's not the anatomical level right palpate bhi kar sakte ho you know you you will get there so simple things like iliac crest lumbar puncture kis level par hota hai lower border of scapula kya hai so these are basic surface anatomy questions jo clinically every day mein use hote hain in medicine surgery everywhere so you need to know that and on levels pe dissection specimens also become important like level at l1 sma kis level par aati hai t12 t4 t5 so all of these are important sections and unske uh, you know corresponding ct axial sections because aajkal we are moving towards radiological anatomy a lot. Then abdomen your basic organ relations become important. Like liver, liver obviously liver ki segmental anatomy hum parte hai, again uska radiology is important. You should be able to identify all the eight segments. Then stuff like kidneys because hum obviously retroperitoneal approach hoti hai, kidney ke relations become important. Similarly, pura abdomen is divided on the basis of the relation on the stomach. So, wo ho jata hai. then pancreas, ka, head, neck, body, kaise divided hai, SMA, SMV. So, these small, small things will really get you through abdomen. And lastly, agar, if there's one thing that you have to have to do in abdomen, that is aorta and its vascular supply. You have to know uski sari main branches or kis kis level par aati hai, definitely. Yep, celiac trunk, SMA and yeah, IMA levels. Ki, so, now coming on to thorax. What's important in thorax is the cardiac anatomy. And usme bhi sabse zada what's important is tumhara blood supply. So uh, arterial more than venous, arterial is the most important though. 
एंड द सेकेंड थिंग इज मीडियसन एनाटमी इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और तुम्हारी नर्व्स का रिलेशन मतलब फ्रेनिक नर्व एंड वेगस मोस्टली हाईलम स्ट्रक्चर्स की एंटीर पॉसिडर एंड सुपीरियर इन्फीरियर कौन से हैं एंड इज आइगस लाइक देव सार टेस्टिंग डैट इज वेल एंड तुम्हारा डायफ्रैम ठीक है दीज थ्री आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थॉरैक्स इतना भी कर लो तो आई थिंक लाइक एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यू विल गेट राइट इन थॉरैक्स दैन कमिंग ऑन टू पेलविस पेलिनियम पेलविस पेलिनियम इज अ वेरी टफ टॉपिक इन जनरल सो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टल आइलिया के डिविजन एंटीरियर एंड पोस्टीरियर ठीक है उसकी बस ब्लड सप्लाई कर लो दूसरा कर लो सुपरफिशियल पेरिनियल पाउच डी पेरिनियल पाउच के बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड उसको एक्सेप्शन में पढ़ो कि कौन सी चीज़ कहाँ पर नहीं है ठीक है ये पढ़ लो तो मोर देन अनफ है आई डोंट थिंक एनी थिंग एल इज रिक्वायर्ड मे बी इस्टर एक्टल फोसा दे कैन बी इट कैन बी आस द बाउंड्रीज बट थिंक दैट्स इनफ इन पेलविस पेलिंग नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द निगलेक्टेड टॉपिक्स ऑफ अनाटमी निगलेक्टेड टॉपिक्स बाय नॉट बाय दी नॉट बाय द एग्जामिनर सो दे आर टेस्टेड यूजुअली इफ यू डू देम फर्स्ट थिंग एवर वेन यू स्टार्ट अनाटमी यू विल गेट एन एज सब एंड तक आके इनको भूल जाते हैं so that is histology, general anatomy and embryo. Hmm. so these topics ऐसे भी ना प्रॉफ्स में याद तो रहते हैं नहीं करते भी कम है उस टाइम पे so histology just do from uh, do one shot histology from Dr. Ashwini I think that's more than enough. embryo I did from Zainab ma'am मैम मतलब शी कवर्स मोस्टली एवरी थिंग बहुत है इतना भी कर लोगे तो एंड जनरल नाइट भी लाइक यूजली इन सेट ऑफ नोट्स वगैरह होते ही हैं सबके पास एंड लाइक वो ही पूछते हैं जॉइंट नाइट में कौन सा जॉइंट कहाँ पे है कौन सा जॉइंट कहाँ पे नहीं है so if you target all of this stuff in your anatomy definitely you will improve a lot in terms of your gt scores and the mm-hmm. final exam and like well. even if you get 10 questions right now you are in the 99th percentile for mm-hmm. anatomy trust me so uh, hopefully this helped you out and if you are here till the end of the video thank you very much and uh, we'll try to come up with a few more subjects and if you want anything particular let us know in the comments below okay bye bye yeah.